Hey yo, what is up guys? It is your boy Sean Cena here, and today I am here with the education video. I know, I know it's an education video, but I mean education's good for you. Yup, education is good for you. And if you guys don't like this, I won't make education videos, but I'm just gonna teach you guys like this new thing. Um in science it's called how to calculate like density, mass, volume using um the grass method, or you could call it the grass method, except I'm gonna call it the grass method, okay? So, what you have to do is, um, guys, okay, first of all, I'm just doing this just because I want to, and just because, like, like, it's good for you guys, anyways, and, like, I'm just learning this in, um, class, anyways, and I decided to teach it to you guys. So, first of all, we need to find out the formula, oh, no, not this, this, formulas, for um calculating each of the okay by the way this is science and math mixed together how do you erase this okay sorry <clears throat> okay so this is math and science um combined together um because you because because it's, okay, you guys will learn this in grade nine or if you guys are in grade nine you guys um will um eventually learn this so the formulas for each of them so if you guys don't know um the formula for calculating the density is um mass over volume and yeah so like it's it's, it's mass divided by volume and now you, if you want to find out the um volume um the equation is um let me show it to you guys right now just after i erase this the equation is okay, sorry. okay whatever okay sorry so the equation for um finding out the um volume is is mass over density so mass divided by density so it's just like the density equation and you guys might be like oh the equation for mass might be the same except no the mass one is different so let me tell you guys tell you guys what it is what it is so it's mass equals volume times density not volume divided by density, but volume times that's the density. So um, it's it's like that. Those are the formulas in here. So so you guys got that part. Now it's time to move on to um the Gress method. Okay. So say you're given like a problem, like for example, where like the um let's say like Billy has like has like six out. Uh, I don't know where. I should not know. You know what? I'm not gonna make up and and like a question actually really because I'm already good at making questions. So let me just say this that the um that the volume is um I don't actually know what to say. It's like it's like I don't know twelve ML and the density is um let's say I don't know two grams slash milliliters and by the way guys this is all academic math so i'm uh, sorry academic science so you guys will eventually learn this and yeah so it's really cool um so all the densities i don't really know where the, like the equations what equations makes so i'm making random ones so the g in gress stands for what you are given so what are you given you're given the volume equals 12 ml i'm not gonna write it down i'm too lazy but you guys should write it down because if you have like a test or something about this, you guys have to write down the, um, whatever. I forget what it was called. Oh my gosh, I'm so dumb. Yeah, but you have to write it down. Um, and say that, and then this is two, right? Now, R is what we, um, require. I didn't put the line by mistake, sorry. Um, is what we require. So we need the mass. So mass equals question mark. I'm just going to erase it so I get more space. And then, um, let's quickly erase this. Uh, and then the next E stands for equation. Um, let me just write it down real quick. The equation, and you guys know what equations is. So, like, what's the equation, guys? Um, the equation, of course, I just told you guys, is mass equals volume times density. And now the S, the first S, stands for solution. So what? So um, my gosh, how did I make that? So what? What? What's the solution, guys? Um, the solution is the volume times density, right? So we have to do the all the math here. Volume times. Oh, why am I writing? I need to write all the numbers. Why am I not doing this? 
I got my head's not working today, guys. Sorry. So twelve times two, and then we get. Our, I already know the twenty-four, but you could just get out your calculator if you guys need it, cause like you you need the calculator for like some different um stuff. Like I mean, like okay, if if you have like a test um about this, you have to bring a calculator. Like the te like okay, cause there might be some really hard questions, and you need a calculator for this. This is not only science; this is also math. You need a calculator. You need to bring one, and yeah. And the last S is not under than statement, so you can say like therefore, um, blah blah blah. The the um the density. Is, I'm sorry, the mass is 24 grams. So then yeah, then you're basically done with that. So guys, just remember, this is what Gress is. Let me just quickly just write it down. Oh my god. You know what? I'm just going to see do button. The undo button is the best. Okay. Yeah, so guys, remember. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to write it down real quick. Um, after I do this. Okay, so basically. Okay, um. And by the way, guys, if you guys like this, then make sure you, like, give this video a like. Because, like, um. I wasn't actually really expecting me to make a video on this. Except this is actually a really interesting thing to learn about. So you guys should try it out. So just remember this, guys. Oh, wait, sorry. G equals given. I'm not a good speller with this. It's, it's my tablet, so I'm not really a good speller. Given R equals what we require. So requirement. I'm sorry, require because it's easier. Oh my god. I'm not a good speller with. I'm gonna make this a bit thinner. How do you change the opacity? I don't know, sorry, the size, sorry. Required. This is much easier, but it just looks so bad, right? Okay, and then E is equation. S is solution. And last but not least, the other S is statement. So that's it, guys. It's pretty straightforward. I mean, like it's like it's pretty like easy. Um, if you think about it, and it's actually pretty fun to do. So like, remember, guys, just use this method. Um, you might get extra marks for it, cause like in our test we got extra marks for it. So yeah, like so make sure you you use this method. It's really good. It's a good tool to use. So guys, remember to use it. But anyways, guys, that's for today. Thanks for watching, remember to subscribe and peace. I'm out, boys and girls.